How's it going guys? I'm KTO and today I'm bringing you my playoff predictions. Look, with how stacked the NFC is, it was really hard to trust a team to win three or four straight. So this video is going to make one fan base happy and upset the rest of you. But like I said, I gotta make a prediction. I'm going to explain to you why I chose the team I did. But really quickly, I want to tell you guys about this new free sports app called FireFan. It's just barely been developed by the man who helped create Madden Football. It's an interactive sports app where you make picks trying to predict the outcome of an actual game. You will make pre-game picks and then live picks drive by drive while you watch the game on TV. You will compete against your friends, top celebrities, athletes, and even me. The best part is the competition, it's free, and you can earn rewards based on the tickets you win. So come join my league. I wanna see what you got. Do you have what it takes to beat me? Click on the link in the description to get my player rewards code. You will get bonus tokens and be automatically placed in my league. I have all the wildcard games lined up. So anyways, on to my picks. So starting with the AFC playoff picture, we have our two wildcard matchups. First up, the Texans versus the Raiders. Now these guys played in Mexico City week 11 this season, and the Raiders got the win, but they had Derek Carr in that game. I don't trust Brock Osweiler in a situation like this, and you really don't know what you're going to get with Connor Cook. My argument is the Texans don't really have a lot of film on them, so they can't really game plan for what the Raiders offense will do. I know this seems like a shot in the dark, but I think everyone has began to count out the Raiders, but I'm not one of those people. Our second matchup includes the Dolphins and the Steelers. Pittsburgh enters as 10 point favorites, and along with Miami having no playoff experience. I don't see how Miami can keep up with the Steelers offense. When they catch fire, they are almost impossible to beat. I have been impressed with Miami with the run they have put together but I believe it ends here. That makes our next matchup Pittsburgh at Kansas City. I feel like this could be one of the best games in the entire playoffs. The Steelers will be heading into one of the most hostile environments in the NFL. Arrowhead is the loudest stadium on record, and you better believe that will make an impact here. The battle to watch in this game is Big Ben versus that unforgiving defense, who has made teams pay all year, leading the league in takeaways. Now don't get me wrong, Kansas City has weapons, like the emergence of Tyree Kill being scary in the return game and as a receiver. But the Steelers shredded this team early in the season by almost 30 points. Yes, it was only a regular season game and it was in Pittsburgh, but I just think Big Ben is primed and ready. Although I can see this defense giving Big Ben fits, this offense is just way too versatile with guys like Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown. Big Ben has playoff experience, and along with being on a win streak since week 10, I believe the Steelers pull this one out. Then we move on to our next divisional game, the Patriots and the Raiders. The Raiders have had quite a run back to glory this season, rattling off 12 wins. And in my prediction, a big win versus Houston in the wild card. But here is where the parade comes to a halt. The Patriots will now have film on Connor Cook, and no one game plans better than Bill Belichick. The Patriots will take this one with ease. Now this AFC Championship we have bestowed upon us will be a must watch. Big Ben versus Tom Brady two future Hall of Famers. They combine for an unreal nine Super Bowl appearances. Look, the difference here is it is played in New England, and the Patriots have allowed the least amount of points per game in the entire NFL. Not to mention they have a plus 12 turnover differential compared to Pittsburgh's plus five. And as far as coaches go, I trust Belichick more than I trust Mike Tomlin, so I'm going the Patriots here. This means Brady will now have seven Super Bowl appearances. Now, moving over to the NFC. First wild card, Detroit versus Seattle. This is the king of the fourth quarter of the season versus the Legion of Boom. Matt Stafford has played lights out most of the season, and with Seattle having a few injuries, he could exploit them. But this game is in Seattle, one of the toughest places to play, and they have a much more well-rounded team. I believe this game will be good, but with a very experienced Russell Wilson and that defense, I have to go Seattle here. Now, if I was only allowed to watch one wildcard game, it would be the Packers versus the Giants. This game is literally a coin flip. Both teams have had a tremendous surge late in the season. And there is something you have to remember about the Giants. Their defense has been brutal. One of the best in football. Best third down defense of all the teams in the playoffs. And then just behind the Patriots, giving up the second least amount of points per game of any team in the playoffs. But one of their core pieces, Jason Pierre-Paul, will be out. And then the Packers have the best third down offense. And Aaron Rodgers is playing like his 2011 MVP season, which, they won the Super Bowl. Although it won't be easy, give me the Packers in this one. I trust Aaron Rodgers right now over any quarterback, except one. Moving on to the divisional round, 
Green Bay versus the Dallas Cowboys. Great matchup. Testing the dominating Dallas offense, the time of possession monster, versus a well-rounded roster with a red-hot defense and Aaron Rodgers. Dallas is at home, but this game will be in a climate-controlled environment. To me, home field advantage matters anywhere, but it is much more prevalent in cold weather situations. Weather plays no impact in this game, and Dallas has no playoff experience from their most important pieces, but with their O-line dominance, they can get away with that. I think this momentum the Packers have acquired will send them through to the NFC Championship game. Again, I just trust Aaron Rodgers more as of right now. Sorry Dallas, but on the bright side, your team looks like one of the more likely dominant franchises for years to come. Then our last divisional game, the Falcons versus the Seahawks. To me, Seattle really feeds off their crowd very well, and I think if they were at home, they would have the upper hand. But this game is in Atlanta. The Falcons are the greatest show on turf 2.0. They score the most, they are the most explosive, and they are extremely hard to stop. And with the Seahawks inconsistent on offense, I just don't think they can keep up with this high octane offensive attack. My pick here is Atlanta. Now the NFC Championship. We have Green Bay at Atlanta. I really like this matchup. It is the proven Aaron Rodgers versus the unproven Matt Ryan as far as the playoffs come. I think Green Bay is more well-rounded as far as the three phases of the game. But to jump to my conclusion, the absolute dominance of the Falcons offense to me will be overwhelming. I think Aaron Rodgers will play great, but it won't be the reason they lose. I think the Falcons will score 30 plus. Atlanta is my pick here. Now, moving on to Super Bowl 51. To me, an iconic matchup. Brady pursuing his illustrious fifth ring, while the underdog Falcons have made their motto, rise up, come true. But unlike the greatest show on turf, that Rams team did not have to play an experienced Super Bowl quarterback in their first Super Bowl appearance. And if the Falcons played anyone else in the AFC, I would take them. To me, the Patriots have been consistent all year, have the more complete team, and are as ready as ever. I have to go with the most consistent coach and QB over the last 15 years. The Patriots take it all and add to their already storied legacy. So thanks for checking out this video. I've been gaining subscribers at an insane rate, which is making me even more motivated to get these videos out for you guys. If you haven't hopped on board yet, maybe it's time to do so. I definitely appreciate it. So have a good one, and I'll catch you on my next video. Yeah.